I've been a trucker for close to 15 years now. This happened to me in 2017. I was driving an overnight haul through the Mojave Desert in California, headed for a destination in Arizona. I think I was delivering appliances, I don't really remember. It was pitch black darkness in every direction. The headlights on my semi were really dim at the time, and I had been putting off getting them fixed forever. Usually I couldn't tell the difference, but since there were basically no other cars on the road, it was much more obvious. I remember having to strain my eyes every few minutes to make out the road in the distance. That could have been a horror story in of itself. I was debating pulling over for a couple hours and waiting for sunrise, but I didn't want to waste my time. I desperately needed the money at the time, so I kept driving even though it wasn't fully safe. I figured since it was basically a straight line it would be okay. I think it was about an hour before sunrise when I saw something approaching fast in the distance. Worried about hitting an animal, I slammed on the brakes. As my truck screeched to a stop, I realized what was in front of me, a car with its hazards on. The weird thing was that it was in the exact middle of the road, like literally on the double yellow. What was even weirder was that the passenger door was wide open. My truck stopped maybe a foot before hitting it. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm a pretty fearless guy, and I know my way around a bar fight. Because of this, I wasn't really scared when I saw the car. I was more curious than anything. I thought maybe someone needed a jump or something, so I reversed the semi and pulled over. I thought about throwing some flares down, but decided against it since I hadn't seen a single other car on the road besides this one. I got out of my truck and made my way over to the car. It was a warm, still night. I remember thinking how strange it was that there was almost no wind. It was also really quiet that night. The faint click of the hazards was the only sound in what felt like the entire desert. I got a little closer to the car. I vividly remember that it was a new looking, red Ford Fusion. I approached the car a little cautiously. Like I said, the passenger door was wide open. I walked around the car and stopped in my tracks. It was completely empty. I made sure of it too, checking the back seat and anywhere someone might be laying down. There was literally no one inside. All of a sudden, I was much less sure about the situation. I was expecting someone to need help of some sort, maybe even someone who took a nap in a really dumb spot. I certainly wasn't expecting this though. The car was literally empty. I cast a few glances over my shoulder, feeling a lot more uneasy now. I kept whipping my head around, looking in every direction. I felt like someone was going to charge me or something. The problem was, it was so dark that I couldn't see that far in front of me, except for what was lit up by my truck's headlights. It was eerie. I waited a while longer, thinking about getting back in my truck and forgetting about this whole thing. Someone was out there. Somewhere. Against my better judgment, I decided to keep investigating. I looked inside the car, but everything seemed completely normal. The key was even in the ignition although the engine was turned off. I got back out of the car and made my way over to the trunk. Might as well have a look, I figured. I went to open it, but it wouldn't budge. Locked. I grabbed the key out of the ignition and unlocked the trunk. Still though, the thing wouldn't budge. It was jammed from the inside somehow. I opened the back door and tried getting at the trunk through the back seat. To my surprise, it actually opened. There were three squished garbage bags back there, along with a rope that was tying the trunk closed. I remember glancing one more time over my shoulder before reaching for them. The coast was clear. I must have been within five inches from one of the bags when the loudest gunshot I've ever heard rang out into the night. I slammed my head on the roof of the car in shock. I didn't even think. I threw the keys on the front seat and got out of the car as fast as I could. As I was climbing into my semi, I heard a grungy voice yelling in the distance. He yelled hey a bunch of times, and his voice seemed to be quickly approaching. I scrambled into the semi and turned it on. I threw it in gear as fast as I could. I remember cursing a bunch of times as the engine initially stalled, and that's when I saw it. As my truck began pulling out, I saw a person standing at the trunk of the car. He was a short, husky guy with red hair. He was wearing overalls and shin-high boots. In his left hand, he was holding a small shovel. In his right, though, was an old-looking hunting rifle. We locked eyes for a few seconds as my truck began to drive past him. He didn't move. 
I remember him not looking crazy or anything. He had this worried look on his face. As I passed him, he dropped his shovel and started waving his hands. He yelled wait a few times, but I wasn't staying there another second. As I drove away, I watched in the rearview mirror as he ran after my truck for a few seconds before sprinting back to his car. It was clear he wanted me to stop, but there was absolutely no way I was going to do that. I stepped on it, pushing the semi much faster than I should have. I drove for like five minutes and started to think I was in the clear, but then I saw headlights fast approaching behind me. I remember feeling more scared than I've ever felt in my entire life. I called the police and told them what happened to the best of my ability. That's when the car was basically right on my tail. It started honking like crazy at me. I honestly didn't know what to do, so I just kept driving, praying to God he wouldn't try and ram me. After like 15 minutes of this, he cut in front of me and hit his brakes, forcing me to slow down. I was just about to crash into him when finally some flashing police lights appeared ahead. The Ford veered off to the right and sped into the desert, disappearing from sight. I pulled over and waited for the officer to show up. I frantically told him what had happened, but the useless cop decided to get a report from me rather than chase the guy down. I was so pissed about that. I told the guy like twice that he could probably catch up to him if he left now. The cop told me not to worry and that they'd do a thorough search as soon as backup arrived. He sent me on my way and said they'd call me if they ever had an update for me. They never did. None of my buddies have a story this crazy, and I've told it more times than I can count. I know what you're probably thinking. That guy was definitely burying bodies. That doesn't really explain why he had such a small shovel, or why he tried to follow me. The bags in his trunk were also too small for that, although some of my buddies think he might have done some dismembering. For my own sanity, I like to think that he was burying some other kind of animal, maybe putting a diseased dog out of its misery or some dangerous snakes. I really have no idea. Either way, I've never been totally comfortable driving through deserts late at night after this experience.